Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Guest with Mr. Sat. Uh, it's Friday, it's the end of the week. Uh, great time for us to have a good session and see us into the weekend. Um, just a couple of housekeeping things as always. Please make sure you've got a clear space in front of you. There is some jumping and stuff today. Obviously, it's a total body session, so please make sure that you've got the correct footwear on um, if you're working on a hard and slippery surface, okay? And also remember, if you don't feel comfortable with absolutely anything, please make sure that you stop. Try and listen to some coaching cues that I'll give and give it a go if you feel comfortable with it. Perfect. But without further ado, okay, let's get going. So we'll start as ever with the warm up. Okay, so if we want to lay flat onto our backs and put our arms by our sides. So all we're going to do from here, just leg crossovers. Just bring your leg over side to side. Try and keep your shoulder blades fixed on the floor the entire time. Awesome. Then once you've done that, guys, all we're going to do is roll on our back, put our legs out, and shoot our hands to the middle. Roll on our back, legs out, shoot our hands to the middle. Awesome. Great stuff. Perfect. We're doing that, all we'll do is go into our knees. We're going to take one hand, we're going to thread the needle, put it through the middle, and then put it out at the top. Put it through the middle, and then put it out at the top. Perfect. Then we're going to switch sides. Awesome. From there, we're going to get into that tall plank or push-up position like so. We're going to take our right leg, bring it to our right hand, chest tall, back leg straight, and then we stretch over the top. Awesome, superb work guys. Um, what we'll do as ever is I will really quickly try and take you guys through, uh, well, I'll take you guys quickly through a demo of the exercises. Please do get involved if you want to run it as like a bit of an extended warm up for yourself. So, the first exercise that we're going to do is just a reverse lunge. Okay, so feet start together like so, and all we're going to do is take a big step backwards, hits the floor, stand tall. Switch legs, stand tall. Perfect. If you want to make this easier, get your hands by your side, use them as a bit of a counterbalance. If you want to make it harder, have them close to your chest, put them in the air. And also, if you are really struggling with the counterbalance, make sure you hold on to something, okay? So hold on to a stick, hold on to the sofa, and then work through there, okay? The next exercise, alternating bridge. So if you watch me here, we sit, some of you may have done it on Monday, but all we're going to do from here. Hips tall, squeeze your glutes, and then you're going to alternate your legs, keeping your hips tall the entire time. Now, if you want to make this a little bit tougher, move your feet further out and so slightly, have your heels on the floor, toes to the sky, and do it like there. You'll feel it slightly more in your hamstrings than you necessarily feel in your glutes. Next exercise is our jumps. So, this is where we're going to do a double leg bound and land on one leg. Okay, now, Please, 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 if you don't feel comfortable with this, if you're returning from an injury or anything like that, don't do it. You know, feel free to either sit out of this one or go into the double leg band that you did on Monday. Okay, so from here, all we're going to do is jump from two and land on one. Jump from two, land on one. Make sure you get a nice, stable landing. Remember, the floor's a bit of glass and we don't want to break it. The next exercise is a T push up. So all we're going to do is go into that push up position here. We're going to do a push up and we're going to rotate. Push up and switch sides and rotate. You're just working through like that. Okay, just feel that stretch of your chest, put all the weight through that standing arm. Okay, the next exercise is a tricep dip. So you'll need a sofa, a bench, a chair. I'm just using a little stool here. 
Okay, but all you're going to do from here, walk your feet out in front of you, feet bent like so, chest tall, you're going to bend your elbows and straighten, bend your elbows and straighten, bend your elbows and straighten. Now, so a little tip that I like to do with my hands, is so rather than have my hands forward like this, rotate them back, just try to keep my shoulders back a little bit more. So rotate your hands to the side, keep your shoulders back, and press through. Now, uh, that's a little bit tough, or it feels a little bit niggly on the shoulder or anything like that. Go to the wall, do the same exercise that we've done before, and all we do from here is just a tricep, uh, it's a tricep that fits the wall. The next exercise, sorry, is your back exercise. So all you're going to do from here, you're going to pull your arms as if you're doing a row. You're going to pull them hard into the floor like this. And then all we're going to do is from here, squeeze into the floor as hard as we can, pinch our shoulder blades together, and pull up to the top. We're going to come down, and work through. So really what I don't want to happen is my abs are turning on, so I don't want my abs to be doing a sit-up. I want my arms pushing into the floor, shoulder blade pinching back, and feeling that tension through my back because of it. Okay, and that is it. Okay, so like I said, upper body, lower body should be a great session. Make sure that you have loads of fun, loads of energy, uh, and let's kick start the day right. Perfect. So, without further ado, I'll hit the timer and we'll get going. Awesome. So, we're into reverse lunges to start. Okay, remember, slow and controlled. Take a big step back, hips to the floor, stand tall. Remember, if you find it difficult, get your hands by your side, use it as a counterbalance. Find it really easy, get your hands above your head, Whoa. add that instability. We'll start to hold on to something a little bit heavier, add some sort of external load. Laying flat down on the floor now, we're into those hip bridges. Remember, so we're going to keep one leg up, that one leg up the entire time. But you don't want your hips to move, so hips are going to stay still. Only thing that's moving is my leg. So I squeeze my glutes, keep my hips still the whole time. You want to make this more challenging, feel more of the hamstring, onto your heels, toes to the sky, walk your feet a little bit further out. Remember with this, belly button tucked in, Core tight, same as what we were doing yesterday. Awesome, superb work. So now we're into our jumps. So double leg to single leg. Jump from two, oh, land on one. Make sure a nice soft landing. Really good. Use your arms, propel yourself forward, say normally with the bounce. Make sure you stabilize yourself. Really good, perfect. As you hold that position, remember you can go straight double leg if you're struggling. Really good, perfect. Now we're into our push ups. And rotate. Push up and rotate. The so nice stretch to your chest. Remember, regressions if you're struggling with this, we can go to our knees, push ups on our knees, we can go to a raised platform, push up off the raised platform. Or we can just do regular push ups. It's just a nice variation. Awesome, great stuff. We're actually going to go to our back exercise now. Rather than the tricep exercise, we'll finish with the tricep exercise. So from here, pull to the floor as if you're putting really hard to the floor here. We're just going to rep off the floor. Remember, if you want your back to be doing the work, not your abs. So pull those elbows hard to the floor, pinch your shoulder blades together. You almost want your elbows at a 45 degree angle. If it helps, take a little lift off the floor every time with your elbows and then reset them and pull them back in. Awesome, great stuff. So final exercise this round, tricep dips. Remember, for my hands, I like to rotate them out like this. Shoulders back. Then we're gonna rep through. Superb work. 
Make that chest tall. And remember, if you find that one difficult, make sure you go over to the wall, do our tricep extensions against the wall. So the aim that's moving is our elbow. Oh, great work guys. That's the first set in the bank. A little bit of rest and we'll get back into another one. Remember guys, we should, we should generally know by now, for those who have been coming for a few weeks, but if you've not, to intensify this stuff and you can slow it down, or try and bring something external that you can use to load yourself up, okay? I get a few emails and a few questions to try how to make a couple of exercises harder. Just before you turn up, get a school bag, load it up with some books, bring it downstairs with you. You can put it on loads of the exercises, with the lunges and things like that. Um, and just think of ways that you can intensify and add some sort of external load to the exercise. So we get back into our session, so reverse lunge. So like I said, if you don't have anything like that, you can just slow the exercise down, keep that time and tension the whole time. If you notice for me, I'm still, even though I'm stepping backwards, my body weights into my front foot. So I'm loading up that front foot rather than the back foot. Remember, arms by side, stabilize yourself to DB. Awesome. Now we're into a good bridge. So laying on the floor, hips up the whole time. Okay, so only one leg's moving. Perfect, alternate. As soon as that foot hits the floor, switch over. So keep your glutes squeezed the whole time. Remember, if you want to make it a little bit harder, Feet slightly further away, on your heels, toes to the sky. Feel it through your hamstring. Awesome, great stuff. So the next exercise over here, obviously double leg to single leg. Remember, you can do a straight double leg if you want. Ooh. So stick that landing. Absorb the floor, nice soft landing. Great stuff, awesome. So now we're into our T push ups. Remember, if you struggle with the T push ups, just go onto your knees. Do new push ups or normal push ups. Push up and rotate. Push up and rotate. Push up and rotate. Remember, put the weight through that standing arm. Awesome, great stuff. So we're into our back exercise. So that back bridge. So remember, elbows into the floor, pull through your back. Imagine you're pulling violently through your elbows into the floor. Make sure you break the floor. Please, please don't break the floor. Remember, you want to put it through your back, not through your abs. It's not a massive movement. You should feel it into your shoulder blades, the rear aspects of your shoulder. Perfect, awesome. So now we're into our tricep dips. Remember, hands out to the side, chest tall. Only thing that should be going is my elbows. That's initiating the movement. Everything else moves with it. 
Uh, if you don't remember, he's struggling with that one. We go against the wall, just move through our elbows and do our tricep extensions. Awesome. Great stuff, guys. That's another set done. I'm I feel like some hard work's been done here, okay? Really, really good, guys. Uh, have a little bit of rest, get some water on board if need be, and we'll get started into the next one. Awesome, great stuff guys, okay? Just remember, loads of intensity into this last set, loads of enjoyment. Focus on the little things that we've been talking about, um, and yeah, I'm sure it'll be a great success, okay? Let's get after it, start the weekend right. So we've got five seconds. Three, two, one. Awesome, so big step backwards, weight into that front foot. Really good. Remember, arms by your side. If you want to make it a little bit easier, slow it down if you want to make it harder. You can get your hands above your head if you want. Awesome. Glute bridge. Remember, one hip stays up the whole time, in the boot to the leg. If you make it harder, move your feet further out. You're on your heels, toes to the sky. Awesome, remember make it a little bit harder on your heels, toes to the sky, alternating through, feel it a bit more into your hamstrings. Awesome, superb work, so we're into our jumps, double to a single, nice soft landing, it's on the floor and we can do doubles if you'd like. Went there. Nice soft landing, absorb the floor. Imagine it's a bit of glass. You don't want to break it. Really good. So now we'll finish the lower body, we're into the upper body now. So into our push ups, the T push ups, and rotate. Remember, if you want to go onto your knees and do kneeling push ups, push-ups off a bench or a chair, or normal push-ups, it's no issue at all. Main thing is enjoyment, you can get some hard work done in the morning. Awesome, really good guys. Okay, so now we're into our back exercise. Remember, uh, back bridge, putting those elbows into the floor, Pinch your shoulder blades, it's the only thing that's making the movement. Try not to activate your abs here, keep head in those shoulder blades. Awesome, great stuff, really good. Okay, so final exercise of the day, into our tricep dips. Remember, chest tall, elbows are initiating the movement. Remember, that's too difficult, 
We feel it's sore, comes to the wall, tricep dips against the wall. Oh, awesome. Really good, guys. Awesome. Great work this morning. Um, really, really, really great start to the day. I feel great. I hope you guys feel great. Um, please make sure that you have an awesome day. I hope you had an amazing week in the collective learning experience. There's so many opportunities out there, so please do take advantage of all of them. And I will see you next week. Thank you so much for tuning in.